Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk Gang. Give it a read of the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Any. So T.I.P., the guy that trash talking Charles calls tipster, you know what I'm talking about because of the video that he actually made whenever he got caught with all those guns, the little commercial he had to do. Anyways, now I made a video earlier and I let y'all know that, you know what I'm talking about, he was told the community to come together and block and stop trash talking Charles. Obviously, that hasn't been very effective because trash talking Charles was chosen by the people and that people rock with trash talking Charles and also the industry didn't make them. So there's nothing that like the music industry could do to actually stop them because the people even run the music industry as well of course they can you know somebody blow artists up make artists get signed put them in front of certain people make them look bigger than the world what they really are but a lot of that stuff be like a lot of fake numbers and a lot of fakeness with that as well anyways well it turns out that ti and his team is still on them you know to my still on the verge of trying to stop trash talking charles and they actually reached out to like probably the top hip-hop blogger you know talking about in, in hip-hop period which is dj academics and they pretty much asked academics if he could snot you know to my don't support trash talking charles get behind us you know to my don't post that guy you know he's no good for us he's a cancer for us anyways from what i've been hearing there is a push to to to, to let platforms know if you're supporting or you're posting charleston white you are part of the problem right that's the new thing so it's like yo let's tell every platform don't fuck like mean, T.I. reached out to me and you know we already had our Reginate talk but he hit me up saying he wanted to chop it up again and I could tell what it was about it's about Charleston White probably and probably just saying yo hey we can't give a platform to this guy or whatever I'm gonna be honest yo people find it entertaining bro and and again like there's a lot of people there's a lot of rappers who do heinous things too but if they drop a hot song people gonna listen Anyways, so academics just confirmed that T.I. himself personally reached out to trap, you know, talking about to academics and pretty much said, hey, man, we cannot give this guy a platform. Now, here's the thing about this. Let's break this down. First of all, trash talking Charles, even before he was actually famous, you know, talking about it within like the whole world. He was actually already popping on Facebook, you know, talking about after Facebook pretty much came over to Instagram and YouTube. Now, the thing about it is this. No industry person made trash talking Charles famous. You can try to tell as many people as possible not to post them it still doesn't matter he has his own youtube channel this is a new era you know somebody this is a new era a new way of doing things right that's why whenever artists and stuff say that they're blackballed no you're not really blackballed because you have the internet the people if the people rock with you the people are going to rock with you if they don't rock with you then they're not going to rock with you you know somebody it's just as simple as that it black all that blackballing and gatekeeping and i no, know the, the people are the gatekeepers not no industry person the industry person is only a gatekeeper if you're trying to be within the actual industry of the music, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not trying to go that route, you know what I'm talking about. You can easily make money on, you know what I'm talking about, on 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 YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. Easily, it's not hard at all. And people can't really just block you. It don't matter how big they are. At this particular time, if we're talking about entertaining and entertainment, we can think about yes, what well, Ti's done in the actual past. You know what I'm talking about. Made great records. You know what I'm talking about. You can't take that away from him at all. He's made great records and all that stuff. But at this current time, as far as entertainment goes. Trash talking Charles is literally the bigger entertainer as of right now. When I say the bigger entertainer, I mean as of at this very moment, he's more popping in in, in in entertaining and making people laugh than Ti at this particular time. Now you know. Also, we can look at it from a, di a, a different perspective. It's not like Ti wants to cancel Trash Talking Charles simply because Trash Talking Charles has just done something so bad. He's been doing the same thing since before he was actually famous. People have no clue. The exact same stuff and the way he was talking now is the exact same way he was talking before he's famous. But not only that, Ti is just personally affected by this a personal vendetta because pretty much what he said with his son. So that's what the whole let's get him out of here because you know something he did this and he did that. And I understand. I'm talking about you got to fight for your son i would do the same thing anybody would do that if they have a son you know somebody so we i'm not even saying that he's actually in a wrong for trying to get buddy canceled because he's just doing he's doing what his emotions is telling him to do but is it going to be effective i don't think it'll be effective i like i don't think it'll be effective at all actually you know, i'm talking about he's going to continue to talk the way he talked people are going to continue to watch him and you know I'm talking about they're going to have to do whatever they're going to do that's it's just it is what it is it's a new age the internet's the new thing you know I'm talking about and then also when it comes to people with platforms like media platforms 
platforms. You know, somebody, I don't think there's going to be too many media platforms. It's just going to, unless there are media platforms that are already within the industry and already super cool with people in the industry. But for the most part, especially like a academics, you know, I grew up watching academics. You know, I'm talking about DJ academics, what I, what I personally liked about them, especially when, as I was watching them as I, when I was a kid, just growing up, you know, it's the fact that he, I don't, I won't say he bars none. You know, talking about it's more, it's like he goes with his own thoughts, his own. You know, talking about that's pretty much what made him. You know, I mean, he does his own thing. I don't think there's anybody that can reach out to academics and say, hey, don't rock with this guy. Let's not give him a platform, and then he actually don't do it. No, our job is literally to, to talk about what's going on, talk about what's hot at this current time. Trash talking, Charles is hot. You know, talking about, and we're gonna talk about them. If there's more events that happen, we're gonna talk about those events as well. It's no, we're not. Nobody's just gonna not. Talk Talk about them. Even other platforms, you know, talking about they just say don't post them. They may not. They're not going to not post them, but they may just make the titles of something a little bad, you know, to look negative on Trash Talking Charles. You know, talking. About, but at the same time, I don't think he cares about the titles looking bad for him as long as he's still getting posted. So in this new day and age, there's not one rapper. There's not one rapper that can actually call and get somebody else canceled, especially if they're not a part of that industry system. You know, talking about. And then on top of that as well, rappers do crazy, say crazy stuff all the time you mean to tell me we're gonna skip over all the killing all of the sending kids on hits all of the the just all the the the, 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 the whole entire community the whole entire uh culture of the hip-hop is pretty destructive anyways you know what i'm talking about so we can't skip over all the destruction and then go over to here and be like okay well let's go ahead and do this now anyways and to close this out i'm going to say one thing that i've probably said in the past five or six videos because this is extremely important if anybody wants to talk about community coming together any of that right there are wars going on inside of every single hood and the wars that are going on right now are involving kids that are actually inside of high school the kids are inside of high school have guns and they're out killing each other they're, 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 i don't see you know somebody people turning a blind eye to it also the p the kids that are out killing each other and then they're making the music about it they're 100 percent being influenced by the rappers that are actually making the killer killer music you know what i'm talking about now what did they get counted what did the music get counted or not i don't know you know what i'm talking about i love the music a lot of people love the music it is what it is you know what i'm talking about we all in this thing we all in this thing you know what i'm talking about it is what it is but i'm telling y'all right now there are wars going on in every hood the kids are at war i'm talking about from 15 16 17 all those ages and they're actually killing each other and it's literally and it's not being hidden it's all online on instagram and you can see it all so if anybody's going to come together to do any type of canceling you know what i'm talking about you what you need to do is figure out why these kids are actually killing each other and they're in high school and they have guns and switches and all this stuff and they're actually being sent on hits and actually killing people that may be some y'all want to come together and try to stop anyways let me know some comment down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out